Hello everyone. So today we will discuss about uh, convolution integral that is impulse response representation for a continuous time system. In the last video we discussed about uh, the convolution sum uh, which is applicable for a discrete time system. So first we will discuss about the derivation for a convolution integral. So the block diagram representation of the continuous system is given below where x of t is the input signal and y of t is the outputs, output signal and the t is the transformation operator. So my output y of t is equal to the transformation of x of t. Uh, if I consider the input signal as an impulse, then the output is uh, impulse response. So if x of t is equal to delta of t, then y of t is h of t. Now consider uh, x of t a uh, random con continuous time signal x of t and, uh, and here I considered the, uh, the impulse signal it is delta of t minus tau at t is equal to tau. So you know that uh, for a continuous time signal the impulse signal is represented as delta of t uh, its value is 1 at t is equal to 0. Similarly the delta of t minus tau its value is 1 at t is equal to tau. So by using the definition of impulse response, uh, this x of t can be represented the in terms of uh, the weighted, the weighted uh, shifted impulses. That is, uh, the x of t can be used can be written as x of t is equal to the integral over minus infinity plus infinity x of tau into delta of t minus tau into t tau. So now if I use a system that is output signal, I already used that equation there, y of t is equal to t of x of t. If I substitute x of t in that y of t equation, uh, it is t of uh, integral minus into plus infinity x of tau and delta of t minus tau into t tau. And uh, the integral over minus infinity plus infinity x of tau the transformation operator which is applied to delta of t minus tau into t tau. So the input is delta of t then my output is h of t that is impulse response. Similarly the input if I consider delta of t minus tau then uh, the output will be h of t minus tau. So the y of t is equal to the minus input plus infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau into t tau. The above expression is called as the convolution integral. Um, it is also represented as uh, the y of t is equal to x of t star h of t where x of t is the input signal and h of t is the impulse response and the star of star is the convolution operator. So the basically the convolution integral will use for a continuous time signal and uh, by looking at the equation that is y of t the output equation y of t and here you will use uh, the integral term that is minus infinity to plus infinity. Um, you will multiply the two signal here x of tau and uh, h of t minus tau into t tau. Now steps to solve the problems related to convolution integral is almost similar to convolution sum. Uh, initially here you have to draw the signal x of tau and then you have to draw h of t minus tau by replacing the variable t by tau. And then second condition is uh, you have to use a time reversal operation there h of tau is replaced by h of minus tau then time shifting they have to shift the signal based on the value of t then perform the multiplication if there is a overlap we multiply the two signal after multiplication you have to integrate the signal based on the limit so now we will discuss about the problems related to convolution integral uh, Usually there are three types of problems will exist in uh, convolution integral or convolution sum the based on the signal. So uh, the first type of problem is uh, you will consider both are infinite signals and second one is one is finite other one is infinite and the last one is uh, both are finite signals. So first problem we will discuss about uh, both are infinite signals. So here they given uh, perform the convolution between uh, h of t and x of t 
it is h of t is equal to u of t and x of t is u to the power minus 8 into u of t where a is greater than 0 and find y of t and uh, plot the output so, to perform convolution operation so i have to draw the signal before drawing the signal you just write the convolution integral equation is y of t is equal to x of t star h of t then use integral equation there so integral over minus into plus infinity x of tau h of t minus tau into d tau now the first step is you have to replace the variable t by tau so i will use uh, x of tau that is u to the power minus a tau into u tau and h of t minus tau that is u of t minus tau into d tau I will plot the signal there, the u of tau and u of t minus tau. So to plot the signal, on the first row u of tau, so you know what is u of t, the u of t is a unit set function, its value is 1 for t greater than or equal to 0, its value is 0 for t less than 0. So now we will draw u of tau and the independent variable you are using here tau. And the second signal is u of tau plus t. The signal will be shifted by minus t. So, signal will be shifted uh, left by minus t. Then just reflect the signal. So, u of t minus tau. So, the first and third signal uh, now you have to multiply it. Okay, before multiplication, uh, uh, you have to consider the value of t there, the time index value t, the second signal. So, uh, here the first signal will be a constant signal and uh, the second signal we mentioned it is uh, you have to shift the signal from minus infinity to plus infinity so based on the value of t and to solve the problem we have to consider the conditions different conditions so if it is an infinite signal generally we are having uh, two cases the case one uh, when t less than zero when t less than 0, so t less than 0, that is, I am considering the value of t which is less than 0. So while multiplying the two signals, you can observe there is no overlap. So u of t minus tau is in the left, it is less than 0, this t is less than 0, and u of tau, its value is 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. So there is no overlap, when there is no overlap, we will multiply the two signals, the output will be 0, therefore output is 0. The second condition is when t is greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 0, now I will place the t which is in such a way that the t is greater than or equal to 0. So you can observe there is a overlap, the overlapping region I mentioned, I shaded that region, the overlap region I mentioned in the figure. So you can observe there is a overlap, the overlapping is from 0, 0 to t. If it is less than 0, the first signal is not there, if it is greater than t, the second signal is not there. So there is a overlap, so the two signals, if there is a overlap, we will get some output. So, in the integral, we will write the limit as 0 to t, e to the power, e to the power minus a tau into d tau, because uh, the amplitude of the both the signals are 1. So, now we will integrate that, the integration of e to the power minus a tau with respect to tau is given by e to the power minus a tau divided by minus a, and the limit is 0 to t, apply the limit, so we will get the answer as minus 1 by a, e to the power minus a t minus 1. Therefore, the y of t is equal to 1 by a into 1 minus e to the power minus a t. So this condition is uh, applicable for t greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, I multiply the signal with u of t. Now, to plot y of t, so I have to apply the different values of t. So if I apply t is equal to 0 in the above equation, you get 1 minus e to the power 0. What is e to the power 0? e to the power 0 is 1. 1 minus 1. So, 0. So, the answer is 0. If I apply infinity, infinity, so what is e to the power minus infinity? e to the power minus infinity is e to the power minus infinity. e to the power minus infinity is uh, 0. So, you will get 1 by a. So, its value is uh, 
increasing and uh, when it is infinity its value is almost nearly equal to 1 by e so this is about uh, the problem related to both are infinite signals the second problem is uh, discuss about uh, one is a finite signal other one is infinite signal so i consider h of t is equal to the power minus t into u of t and uh, x of t is equal to the power minus 3 into u of t minus u of t minus 2 